Well, good morning, newbie cures. Today is an awesome day. Today is the day after Thanksgiving, and we're gonna cook us a Thanksgiving turkey. Except it's not a turkey. Technically, it's a brisket. Uh, I didn't get a turkey this year. I just didn't. I slacked off. I was gonna do a Thanksgiving turkey, but I didn't. So anyway, got this uh, brisket here. This is actually the second brisket of today because the first brisket got ate last night by my dog. He ate it. He ate it off the counter sucks but mr pilger came in clutch he gave us a uh, nice little brisket flat here we're gonna cook this brisket on the weber outside we're gonna do a little snake method with the charcoal we're gonna throw this bad boy on there and uh, we're gonna get it cooked up so let's get it seasoned we're gonna inject it and uh, we're gonna get it out there on the grill For our injection today, we're using this uh, cattle prod beef injections from uh, Big Papa Smokers. Uh, we're gonna try that out. Uh, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna use some of this uh, steak and chop seasoning from Weber, and we're gonna dust it with some Fims Dave's steak and burger seasoning. Um, I've seen some recipes online that were a little bit different. I thought, well, I'm gonna try something. We'll just see how it goes. Um, I, I like to test out new things, test out new flavors. You never know what you come up with. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna season it up. Actually, we're gonna inject it first, and then we're gonna season it up. And then we're gonna get the sucker on the grill. So we got the snake method going and I got it lit. I'm gonna put the grate on it real quick and then uh, we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit, let it get going. And then we're gonna come out here and put this brisket on. All right, well, it's that time. We got a nice little bed of coals going here on our snake and uh, the brisket's looking mighty fine. I've let it set for a while, let it rest. And uh, what that does is let this, lets that meat sweat and it just kind of holds all that seasoning to the meat. So now I'm going to take this sucker off, we're going to slap it on here, I'm going to stick a probe in it, that way I know exactly what the temperature is running on this sucker. And uh, about every hour, hour and a half, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to rotate it, so that way it gets a nice even cook on it. So uh, let's do that now, let's go ahead and get, get the sucker on and get a probe in it. Now I'm going to go on the big old fatter side of this. Sure I don't mess up my seasonings. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's put it this way. All right. All right, probe's in it, the, it's on there. We got everything ready to go. We're gonna slap the lid on her now. <laughs> Make sure it's good and seated because I got this, got that wire sticking out. All right, there it is. Brisket's on the Weber. We're just going to set it and forget it for at least an hour, hour and a half. And then uh, 
I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna rotate the whole grate. I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna rotate the whole grate. That way it gets a nice even cook on that meat. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll come back in a little bit, check on it. All right, guys, it's been an hour. We are, see if you can see it, 132 degrees. Going pretty good, but it'll probably stall out here real soon. So uh, I'm gonna lift the lid. We're gonna twist the uh, grate around so that way the we're basically gonna rotate the piece of meat and then we're gonna put the lid back on. Look at that. All right, all we're gonna do is rotate it. Okay, so we're on like our third hour. Um, I'm gonna rotate it again. I have a fear though, my new fear now is that I'm gonna run out of charcoal. So, uh, with that being said, we may have to add some charcoal. Uh, but we'll see, we're gonna rotate it real quick. Check on it. Oh, it looks gorgeous though, I mean, it really does. So, I'm gonna rotate it. I'm actually gonna rotate it a little differently this time. I'm gonna rotate it to this way. And then uh, put the lid back on it, we're gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go another hour and then I'm probably gonna have to add some charcoal. Uh, <laughs> From the way it looks so i don't know we'll see what happens hopefully i mean we got what 57 degrees to go i don't think it's going to get there so i don't know uh, if i add charcoal it's going to go a little longer if i don't add charcoal i could take it out just throw it in the oven and get it to that last little bit but i really don't want to do that but uh anyway we're gonna let it go hi so my buddy Mr. Pilger's back. He's holding the camera. We are gonna wrap this sucker up, put a little juice in with it. Let's get that done. I hope that doesn't blow away. Oh man. She's looking mighty fine. I'm gonna burn my finger though, probably. All right. Pour just a little bit of juice in. So that way it can bubble up and Get all nice and moist. Everybody likes it good and moist. Well, shut up. All right. I if I can do this without dropping any juice out. Oh, I think I've got juice coming out already. Oh, I do. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Actually, I think I'm just going to need my hat back. It's a camera miracle. It's <laughs> a miracle. <laughs> the camera. Put that on that side. Whew, hot. All right, hopefully that'll keep the juices from coming out. Just a little bit. Okay. Hopefully. All right. Cool. Let's put it back on. That's it. We're going to let it go. We're getting closer. That's all I got. Two oh five. That's perfect. Now it's going to fall apart. Oh yeah. We can uh, transfer it over here. Oh, it's not gonna get stuck though. Oh no. That's all right. I got stuff everywhere. Cool. All right, let's go get it cut into. All right, let's cut the sucker. Oh, I'm about to cut my finger. Take some pictures for the gram. Oh, it's a timer. Yeah, I gotta set up a timer. We'll just cut right out in the middle. There we go. Doesn't that just look awesome? 
All right, doesn't that look great? Looks pretty good. Looks damn good. This looks pretty good. Wow. That looks awesome. All right, guys, that is it for us. The brisket tastes amazing. It looks amazing. Uh, I got my pictures taken uh, for the Instagram. If you haven't yet, check out my Instagram at newbq2020. Uh, the snake method in the Weber was awesome. It's the first time I've done that. Worked out great. Uh, we got it cooked well. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go inside. We're going to take it inside, and we're going to eat this sucker. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at newbq2020, Facebook newbq2020. See you guys next time. Peace.